Today, we're going to see how JWT authentication works with Clicks and SAS. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use Node.js and OpenSSL. Make sure you install this on the developer machine before we continue with the next steps. Then go to the GitHub repo to download the example code using this video. You'll find the link in the video description. When you download the code on your computer, unzip the file and go to the root folder. The next step will be to install the package dependencies for this project. You can do that by opening a command line or PowerShell and running the command npm install. Next, we're going to create the self-signed certificates for the express web server that we're going to use in the example code. Only web apps running on HTTPS can connect to Click Cloud, so make sure your application uses SSL certificates signed by a trusted CA. During the creation of the certificate, you'll be asked to enter information that you or that will be incorporated into the certificate. Use any values you like. Now you should see two new files in the root folder corresponding to your web server certificates. Let's open up Visual Studio Code to browse through the example code. You can see in the server.js that we are going to read the server certificates from the root folder of the project. Feel free to modify the certificate path if you want to store them somewhere else. The next step is to create a public and private key pair for signing JWT tokens with our Node.js code. We are going to store these certificates in a new subfolder called data within the root folder. Now run the OpenSSL commands from the tutorial in click.dev You'll have to go again through the information that will be incorporated into the certificates. You can skip this step by pressing enter until the end. Now, if you navigate to the subfolder data, you should see the public and private key. Now we are ready to create a web integration ID and a JWT IDP in our Click Cloud tenant. Open the management console and go to the web section. You'll find that under integration. Now click on the create new button. Give a name to your web integration. and add local host on port 1234 to allow this origin into your Click Cloud tenant. Click Create when you're done. Next, let's create the JWT IDP. Go back to the management console and go to Identity Provider under Configuration. Click on Create New and select JWT Type. Add a description if you like. And now open the public key certificate with Visual Studio Code to, uh, to copy the value and paste it in the certificate uh, configuration box of your IDP. You can now customize the issuer and the key ID if you like. If you leave them empty, the platform will automatically generate some values for you that you can copy to, 
to the clipboard. After this, go back to Visual Studio Code and open the config.js file loca located in the config subfolder. Here, we're going to adjust the code to include your tenant hostname. In my case, it's oemiveria.eu.clickcloud.com. We are going to paste the IDP issuer and key ID and the web uh, integration ID that you can get from the management console. Now, open the token.js file stored in the token subfolder to validate that we're going to read the private key from the data subfolder. Validate the certificate path is correct, or change it if you if you like to store the certificate somewhere else. Last but not least, line 44 uh, on your server.js shows the user group we are going to send to your ClickCloud tenant every time we log in with a user. Now you can see that we are uh, running the Node.js application using the command line. Uh, you can type no, uh, npm start and go to uh, your browser, the web server will be listening on localhost 41234. Uh, a login page will display where you can enter a username, a password uh, to test JWT. Now you can see that we are being authenticated automatically to your ClickCloud tenant and redirected to the hub. Note that the user can only see the personal space and the demos managed space, which was previously configured to allow members that belong to the demos user group. This is a hard-coded value, and the idea is that we read this from your own authentication module. Groups are allowed in ClickCloud and can be used for authorization on spaces and on data. To conclude this video, you can find more detailed tutorials on click.dev how to create signed tokens for JWT, how to implement JWT to view embedded click content in a third-party application, you can also see the official JWT code in our Glitch accounts, look for the ClickCloud JWT boilerplate, you can remix the project to test online, uh, this uh, JWT flow and view embedded charts hosted in your environment. And lastly, in the Click OEM YouTube channel, you'll find other video tutorials under 10 minutes that show how to implement JWT authorization, auto authorization in Java or .NET environments. I hope you found this video relevant and useful for the next Click implementation. Thanks for watching.